Hi guys, my name is Vivek and in this video of Informatica Scenarios, we will deal with a scenario where a table has two columns and column A has certain redundant values like in this case, if you see column 1 has A three times, B twice and X single times. So the interviewer usually asks this way, he will say that in target we want unique values for column 1 like you get when you do a group by and for column 2 you want concatenated values so the target will look something like this you will have unique value of a b and x and corresponding to that the column 2 values will be concatenated so we can do this using various ways in informatica i'll be giving you two ways to do it in case of flat files and in case if your source is a table so let's see if my personal favorite is doing maximum things in the source qualifier because that improves your performance and reduce your complexity so what we will do is we will try to do it in the source qualifier itself considering that the source table that the source is a table okay so we will be using list aggregator function for this i'll explain how it works so what we will do is we will select column 1 okay and then we will select list aggregator function so list aggregator function is used for concatenation and its syntax goes like this you have to specify the column that needs to be aggregated you have to specify the rather concatenated you have to specify the concatenation operator and then you have to specify within group now concatenation has to take place in a particular order so in this case it's the order is based on column 2 so we'll specify the order and we will give it an alias as column 2 from scenario 1 and the group by obviously will be column 1 so in the select by mistake I wrote column in case of column 1 so here if you see we got a desired result in case if you specify this query directly in the source qualifier you can directly connect to connect it to the target without doing any op other operation and you will get your result we can see it right now so let me truncate the table first and we will see it how we can implement it using informatica ok so let's go to informatica designer and we will create a new mapping called m underscore test underscore list add underscore approach first let me pull the source and targets so our source is scenario 1 I have already imported the source and targets just to save the time and let's have target ok let's connect these two in my table definition column 2 has precision 1 but since in my source qualifier override query I will be using concatenation operator so I will increase this to say 20 ok and in my source qualifier query I will write the following query which you just wrote in oracle the mapping has been created there is another cool feature with informatica that you can generate the workflow directly from the designer itself so i'll create a reusable session you just have to specify a few things you have to specify the session name you have to specify the workflow name it automatically appends the session mapping name with the session name and the session session name in the workflow name if you specify it and you have to specify the connection parameters for the source qualifier and the target that's it just create next and your workflow has been generated successfully so let's go to our workflow manager and just disconnect and reconnect to the folder So we reconnect to the folder and we have created our folder which is 
we have created our yeah so we have the workflow here let's pull the workflow and let's run So it has succeeded. Let's see the output. So if you see, the table has been populated correctly. Now, considering the interviewer says that you, the source is not a table, rather it's a flat file. So obviously you cannot override the SQL query, the query that I have written. In this case, what you need to do is, there is a different approach for this. Here you have to use an expression and aggregator. I'll demonstrate that also. Let's go back to our designer and create a new mapping. We will create a mapping m underscore test underscore list tag underscore flat file. Okay. Just for the sake of simplicity, I'll use the same source and target, but we will assume that these are flat files. Let's take a target also. Let's arrange them. Now we need to add an expression and we need to add an aggregator. There is a very vital concept in Informatica and that is the port usage order. So I have dragged two ports, column 1 and column 2, okay, and I will be using certain output and certain variable ports. So let me create certain variable ports first. Let me create a variable port B, call 1, and let me create a variable port as B. All one. Okay, so these are my variable ports. So I'll be assigning the value of call one in B call one and in B call two. Remember what we need to do is we need to concatenate the values of column two and we based on the group by columns we need to get the values. So, here what we need to do is, we need to do the concatenation. So, in case column 1 is equals to v underscore, call, let's put, just for safety, let's pull it from the ports. So, in case if column 1 is equals to variable port column 1, then we need to do the concatenation. Then we will do the concatenation. We will concatenate v column 2 with column 2. else we will specify it as column 2 this syntax issue oh I missed out on these so yeah so now if you see I will create another output port which is an output port and its value is variable column 2 and 
then we will push these two values into the target which is the aggregator here we will push these values to the final target just for the sake of clarity i'll run this mapping in the debugger mode so that everybody gets a fair understanding of how we are doing it and we will group by our column one So our mapping is valid. Let's run it first in the debugger mode to understand how it is working. Let's create the workflow first as we have been doing. We have created the workflow. Let's run the debugger. I have uh, created the workflow so that I don't have to create a reusable uh, a debug session. I can use the existing reusable session. Now let's start it. So we first we have the values as A and L. Okay, let's go ahead. You see, initially the value of column one was null. That's why we didn't do the concatenation and the output of the column two was L. Now let's go ahead. Now the value is A M. Okay. Now you see the previous value was also A. and the current value is also a so we did the concatenation and the output came as l comma m let's go ahead the value is a n now you see the previous value was also a so this also should get concatenated the output is correct l comma m comma n next let's go ahead now the value has changed the previous value of column 1 was a now it's b so now we should not concatenate rather the output should be p the output of column 2 which is correct now the output is p and so forth now the previous value was also b the current value is b so it's p q the value has changed so this is it so but the point was in case if we don't specify the aggregator we will get nine rows what we have done from aggregator is we have done a group by on the basis of column 1 and aggregator has this functionality that it by default picks the last row so we will get the correct row so let's stop the debugger we already stopped the debugger let's run the workflow and see if we will get the correct data before that let me truncate the table i've truncated the table let me run the newly created workflow which is list at flat file you know let's start it now this should insert exactly three rows in the same format they were inserted using the list at query the workflow is completed so we got the same result set So in case of flat file you can use the second approach where we used expression and aggregator and in case if you have your source as flat file you can directly write this query in your source qualifier and you can push it to the target thus avoiding the complexity of expression and aggregator and variable ports the vital take away from this video is list ag function in oracle and the concept of ports so the first thing that is uh, the ports in informatica are processed in the order input variable and then output ports so first of all all the input ports will be processed 
then the variable ports will be processed in the order they are present and then the output ports and then there is another takeaway which is generation of workflow thanks a lot guys for watching this video and please subscribe to my channels for more such informatic you know, informative videos on informatica oracle unix and vertica thanks a lot